Let her rip my dreams. She was my queen. A castle in the mountaintops, rivers and streams. Plucking sunlight from the sky in my pocket. Give it to you later on in the form of a locket. What you wanna do? Walk around Abby. What you wanna do? It's on you. What you wanna do? Walk around Abby. Hey everybody, welcome to the house. My name is Danielle. If you're new to my channel, thank you for watching this video. If you're a returning subscriber, shout outs to you. Like, thank you so much for continuing to watch all of these videos. Like, you have no idea how much the support means to me as an artist and content creator. So I really do appreciate you guys watching these videos when I post them. So thank you so much. And for your newbies, make sure you subscribe, cause you know, I'm kind of funny and I feel like you shouldn't be deprived of watching my videos, I'm just saying. But thank you for watching. So as always, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, as well as shop House Belize's link right here, hopefully. <laughs> we have some new stuff on the store as well as I just put up a new blog post on my self-care series, so you should check that out. For today's video, I'm going to do something new and I'm going to do a head wrap tutorial as well as show my collection of head wraps because I'm definitely a head wrap girl. Like, I know the struggle of taking your twists out when you think they dry and they're not. Put on a head wrap. I know the struggle of deep conditioning my hair but still having to go outside. Put on that head wrap. I know the struggle of not washing my hair for three weeks because life is busy and college is hard. Put on a head wrap. So I'm gonna help y'all out by showing you some cute ways of how I style my head wraps. And as you couldn't tell, I really love head wraps. Like really, really love head wraps. Like my logo is a girl with the head wrap on. <laughs> so I feel like I'm kind of qualified. So be sure to watch this video to learn how to style your head wraps so we all could be fly out here in our boss attire. Let's get into it. So the very first head wraps I want to share are actually the very first ones I have purchased. I got these from therablife.com, an online store, which I think they sell like head wraps, some jewelry, and maybe some other little things. I can't remember off the top of my head, but I'll put all that information in the description box below. The very first one I got from The Rap Life was this one. I can't remember what it's called, but it's my baby. I got this 2014, my freshman year of college. What was that, three years ago? I wear this the most, but mostly under other head wraps to build for like volume, which I will actually demonstrate later on in this video. But this is my ride or die. This is my cutie. It's black and white. Has like this really funky pattern. And I'm a pattern person. I like to think I'm a pattern girl. So this is my first wrap. I really, I feel like it had a cool name too, but if I find that name, I'll put it in the description box below. Next, I got this, oh, this gorgeous, gorgeous royal blue head wrap. This is such a pretty color, I love it. But at the wrap life, they have like these really nice solid colors. I remember I saw this one and there was like this really nice light gray one and denim one. I want to get all of them, but kinda, kinda pricey. Little, just a little bit pricey. I think their head wraps run for $30, but I honestly catch mine's on the sale where I can get like two scars for like some percentage off or when like their solid ones are like $10. So I would say definitely wait for their sales because these wraps are so nice. Um, so yeah, this blue one. And the last one is this solid black one because I feel like everyone needs this black head scarf because it honestly goes with everything because black goes with everything and i also wear this a lot too mostly when i really just need to go out the door i just put this on so those are my head wraps from the wrap life so i'm gonna demonstrate first when i need to just run out the door and i have no time to actually do my hair or think about styling my head wrap too extravagant i'm gonna do a little quick tutorial about how to do that quick out the door look so for our first look, which is honestly just the get up and go out the door look, I like to put my hair, whether it's in braids or my natural hair, I like to put it in a low bun or a <laughs> low ponytail. Ah, got braiding hair on me. So I like grab your little hair and of course the bigger, the I guess the longer your hair is or the thicker your hair is and the bigger bun you produce will be like the bigger your 
had our booby in the back because we're gonna create one of those like low bun looks for your head wrap so of course you want to get your head wrap we're using the solid black one from the wrap life and also get a scrunchie because you want to like secure it in the back so instead of like just putting it straight on like this i don't like when the sharp edges are there so i like folding mine over i like folding it over so it becomes this little flat thing and of course you want to find the middle and that's where you place it on your head yeah you know put on your merry mother of jesus look yeah so flap fold it under put it on secure behind your ear or you can put it over your ear i don't for me it depends on how i look that day or honestly, if I'm going to be listening to music and realistically, I listen to music all the time. So put it under, over you, behind your ear, put it behind your ear and you're holding it like this now. So you want to make sure that your bun, oh, mind you, I'm actually looking at the mirror on top of my camera if I'm not looking at the camera. So I'm not just looking at some random person. So for me, my braid bun is actually bigger. So I need to take that out and start from the actual beginning. So again, place it behind your ear, grab both sides. You want, <laughs> you know, it's kind of difficult now. <laughs> Put it behind your ear again, grab both sides and tie it. Sometimes for me, it's difficult. Like when my braids are like really big. Okay, so we're gonna just, just place that back up here. It happens, it moves. You just feel like put it back, give it a little nudge. Ow, a little nudge. So you make that knot in the back. So it looks like this. And I like starting one side at a time. So you see we have this little bun thing in the back. So I take this side and I start to twist. And whichever side I start with, I like to start going over the top. So you begin to take this and you bring it to the top across to the other side and then you tuck it in. You tuck it into like the back wherever it fits. I don't know if you guys can see that. Ugh. Try to find whatever loophole you can and tuck it in. So you have one side that's secure. And mind you, while you're doing this, especially if you have like a big bun like with braids or if your hair is like really long, your head wrap will start to move back. So you want to make sure you're taking note of that. So you either like push it up, keep pushing it up, or you get pins and like secure it. Mostly I just keep pushing it up or depending on like the style, if I like my twists or braids underneath my head, I could just let it rock like this. Cause I kind of like that look. Cause especially if you like slick your edges down, it could be a look, it could be a look. <laughs> now to finish, we're going to do the same thing to this side, just twisting it in our hands. And this time, actually, yeah, we're going to go back over to the other side again and then tuck it. And this time you can actually find an easier hole or loop because you can tuck it under the first twist that you did. And again, you want to make sure you're mindful of how your head route's moving back by pushing it up. And that's the first look for when you just want to go out the door without doing your hair or thinking about like how intense you're tying your head wrap too much. So here's that big bun head wrap look. And this works for whether you have short hair, long hair, a TWA. So this is definitely one of those versatile styles that you can do. So the next dress that I'm going to show are wraps I've actually made myself. Like me and my mom this summer went to the African market in Harlem on 116th Street and Frederick Douglass. Yeah, next to the mosque. You guys from Harlem know what I'm talking about. We went there um, and we found some fabrics that I liked and I decided I was going to make my own head wraps because I just grand idea of possibly sell making them to sell them. We'll see what happens. But for you to stay in the loop, you should probably follow me on my social medias at Elisa's on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat now. I've conformed. As well as, you know, 
regularly shop House of Elisa's or visit my site. Link right here. Cause you know, you wanna save the loofer when I decide to be all creative and produce some dope stuff, you know. Stay, stay, stay connected with me. So these are wraps that I've actually made myself. Uh, so this is the first one. This is one of the fabrics I have. This, be this beautiful, beautiful one. I love it so much. It's so pretty. Like, I love this red. I love it so much. So I wear this one a lot. I wear this a lot in that low bun style that I just did previously. <laughs> I wear this a lot in that. Sometimes I wear it in an updo that I'm probably going to show you guys. Um, so yeah, I wear this a lot. This is probably second to my most favorite wrap. Um, yeah, so there's this one. And the second one is a really pretty one that I haven't worn as often, but it's also really nice. It's this blue and pink one. It's really nice. Yeah, this <laughs> is. I think I wear this in a low bun style too. Like, so yeah, these are the wraps that I've actually made myself. Like if you have a um, African market by you or any like fabric store and you see fabrics you like, honestly, you could just buy it or have them cut it for you. Cut like a yard and make your own head wraps. Like you do not have to go spend crazy money to buy a head wrap. If you can honestly just go to your fabric store, cut that joint, bring it home, style it up. Cause that's what I'll be doing. So I'm gonna show you look two, which is for when you're feeling kinda Fancy, not too fancy though, but when you're kind of wanna look real sophisticated, go in a class, like let me switch it up, try something new, make them look twice. So this would be that, what do you call it? That, we're gonna call it the college baddie look. Yeah, college baddie. If you find a new name or a better name for it, just put that in the comments. <laughs> The comments section below because I feel like that name should probably change but here's look number two the college baddie look so first what you want to do oh another cool thing I did about these wraps was I knew that for my natural hair that sometimes cotton you know can dry your hair out so I knew that lining it with satin would make sure it did not rub against my strands and kind of kept things cool and it wouldn't like suck the moisture out of my hair see I was looking out for y'all I was looking out so for this, you should create a you should create a top bun on your hair. So just like bring your braids up or your hair up again, like with head wraps. You can I keep looking at the mirror. I'm looking at the mirror for this video. If you couldn't tell, um, for all these head wrap styles, you can do this whether you have braids or just your natural hair out, and also with like you know short fros. So, you have your hair in a top, <laughs> little top bun thing, top bun thing, and you want to secure that with a scrunchie. If you couldn't tell, scrunchies are live. Um, so you have your little top knot bun, which these are so cute. Like, I can't wait to like grow my hair back out and like make it grow like really long, so I could just do like one of those little cute curly buns. They're so adorable to me. So again, you want to like stretch it out and find the middle of your head wrap so it would be about here find the middle and you want to bring it around to the back of your head what does that sound bring it to the back of your head tuck it this time instead of behind your ears you're going to tuck it in front of your ears and you see it cover your braids here and you're going to tie it in the front but before you tie it, you want to tuck this front section down. And you're going to make a knot. <laughs> and make a knot, making sure to keep this tucked in. Make that knot. Granted, again, like the bigger your bun is, the bigger it's going to be. Lucky for me. I like volume, so this works. And for those of you with shorter hair who wouldn't get like a bigger bun, you can stuff other wraps under it. So like I said, I use this wrap a lot to like, I don't just plop it and tie it up, which I will show with my favorite look further on in this video. So back to this one. So 
the thing I haven't yet figured out is how to like completely hide these black satin edges with my wrap since it is lined with satin. So I kind of just try to camouflage it a bit, but a lot of the times I just embrace it like it's a look. So again, you want to take this side. For me, I tuck it, I tuck it in like folding in the black so it doesn't show. So I tuck it in, fold it in first, and then I twist so you cannot see the black at all. And then twist it, whoa, there's black. And you tie it around and tuck it into this front knot. Yep. And then again, on this side, you wanna fold it in. <laughs> fold it in, twist it. Don't try not to let those black edges show. And go the opposite way. And okay, some okay, sometimes depending on the length of your wrap, it won't reach to the other side. At that point, you have to try to make a miracle happen and tie in it, try to pull while holding this side so it doesn't like because that would be tragic. Just hold it secure in place, pull it, and bring it to the middle into this knot section here. Now, as you can see, we are kind of a little twisted. You see it's all the way up here, but then it's all the way back here. So now you have to do a little adjusting to your liking. So you have to like, I move mine forward where it needs to be and backwards where it should to kind of make things even. And up here looks good. But as you can see, it's like this really high, regal look. So that when you show up in class, kind of just like, look at that Nubian queen. Psh. You know, let them know. Let them know you a goddess. <laughs> so could that be a name for this look? Goddess? Hmm. Okay, so scratch college baddie. This is, you know, the goddess look. Yeah. So here's look number two. Which is also fairly easy. I think like the hardest part is just finding places to tuck it in and making it reach all the way around. But I mean, I have a really big head, so it's kind of a struggle for me. But for you slimmer, people with like slimmer faces, I'm sure you can like reach. And of course, if your wrap is longer, then that also helps. But this is look two, you know, the goddess look. Now on to my favorite wrap of all time. This wrap means so much to me. It's actually my favorite. I got this on, at some random thrift store in Atlanta. I believe 2015, 2015 two years ago. Um, it's actually not even like a head wrap per se but then honestly the term head wrap is subjective like if you find a blanket that you could type on your head it's a head wrap <laughs> so this is actually a beach cover-up that you would typically like wrap around yourself while you went to the beach to look like, cute or whatever or you could drape it around your neck actually that's what i use it for now that it's cold i use it as like a head scarf so honestly just this is me this is this is how i wear it this winter, winter fashion. <laughs> um, but this is my favorite wrap. It actually inspired my logo. Cause you can see like the red, the blue, the con the yellow that's in my logo. Got that from this head wrap. Like I love it so much. This is my ride or die, like my rod or toy. So how I saw this head wrap is a lot similar to how I saw the last one. But honestly, I style this a lot of different ways. So I'm going to just show you guys all how I style this one. So like I said, a lot of times I wear this. Um, I don't have braids, so my hair is shorter. So it produces a smaller bun. So what I would do is I would take this wrap, you know, handy dandy. I'll take this head wrap and I'll just like bunch it up in like a bowl. And I would just plop it on my head. Like plop it on my head. Just like how this blonde bun is plopped on my head. That's how I plop this. And then, <laughs> and then I would just wrap this around it. But since I have this big bun, I don't need to do this. But for you girls with shorter hair, honestly, get, get this a wrap or a shirt or some. <laughs> Grab that, plop it on your head, and then tie your bad boy. 
and you get this like really big wrap because so my camera decided to stop recording so i'm gonna try this again um you want to take your wrap and bring the edges bring them together and that's going to be the base at your head so fold it in half bring those edges together find the middle as always and bring it on top of your head Bring on top of your head. Instead of behind your ears, you're gonna put it in front of your ears and make that knot in the front. Make that knot in the front. And this is my signature look. Like this is where I got my logo from. Uh, I love this wrap so much. So you have that knot in the front. So what's different about this shop than the previous one is that instead of twisting it, we're going to just loosely fold it. Now the most difficult thing about this wrap is that it has these little tassel things that are so annoying. I I'm gonna cut them off, but I I just love this wrap so much. I don't wanna touch, like hurt a little hair on its head. So you wanna loosely fold it and bring it around the back and bring it to the front. And again, you're gonna tuck it in this knot section right here. You know, just tuck it in there. All right. And you're going to do the same thing to this side. So loosely fold it. <laughs> loosely fold it. And bring it around the opposite way. And then, of course, if you're like me, you're going to be faced with conundrums. Like, oh, wait. Actually, it fits. I was going to say that. Like, sometimes, sometimes my head's too big. And sometimes my hair could be too thick and it wouldn't reach fully to the middle section and I have to like just tuck it in the side. But thank God it reaches. So we're gonna just bring it all the way around and bring it to that middle. Wow, there is, yo, Jesus is amazing because <laughs> a lot of the times it don't be reaching. So like with these uh, tassels, we're gonna just feel for them and just tuck them in. Tuck them into whatever nook, cranny you can find. That's a lot of ways I come with these styles for my wraps, but that's it. So as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, as well as follow me on all the social medias. I'm looking at you now. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat now, at Elizus, E-L-L-E-E-Z-U-S, as well as visit my online store at houseofelizus.com, link right here, as well as in the description box. So you know what's up, so you can shop some cool stuff, because you know the holidays are coming up. And I'm pretty sure we have some cool stuff that show nieces could maybe like. We also have hats for the fellas. Not trying to leave y'all out, <laughs> but you should, guys should definitely check that out. As well as get into my blog, I'm trying to be more, more consistent with writing more. So I started this self-care series to help y'all out. This first one's about staying organized, so make sure to check that out. And don't forget, I'm just a little black girl from Harlem who stands for Spike Lee. So peace. Could this be a look? Could this could this be a look? I honestly don't even like sunglasses. What am I doing? Let her rip my dreams. She was my queen. A castle in the mountaintops, rivers and streams.